and you have no weapons. This probably can't... Yeah, it's doing nothing. It's gonna be a messy one. Oh no! Really? That's how we're doing it? Okay. Okay, that's how we're doing that. Okay, the signal, this guy's really close. Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, little dude. I don't like that. I don't really like that at all. Is this guy sleeping? Oh, I thought he... Okay, good. Eight times nine equals 72. Seven plus two equals nine. Uh, scientists, Manhattan livable in just five years. Manhattan has been a radioactive wasteland for the past decade. There have been few attempts to go into the Forbidden Zone because of the risk of lethal exposure to radiation. But now scientists believe they may have a way to turn the radioactive ground zero of New York into a livable environment in just five years. This technology could finally make atom bombs safer to use without destroying the environment. So Professor Johann Trout. <sighs> Chrono Cross, I know. Super quick maths. I just had to read it though, to be fair. Wait, is this guy alive? Wake up, you're dead. <laughs> Wake up, you're dead. I wonder if that's going to be important, that thing on the chalkboard there. Oh, hello. Shit, what was that on? Map was updated. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Wake up, you're dead. <sighs> Most brutal alarm clock, exactly. Imagine me being that guy, waking up and then you're dead? Well, you're not going to remember much. That's the positive side. I see him. Gotta be the laziest bunch of guards the world has ever seen. Right? That's what I was going to say. They're all just like, nobody's paying attention. Let's see if there's anything I need to cut in here first, and then we'll recharge. Oh, yeah, right here. <laughs> now you, everyone's gonna have that Evanescence song in their head. Okay, what does this open in here? Oh, patrol map. Hello, that's helpful. Sleep. But it was dies. It's true. Oh, this is... Okay, this is what the key was for. Perfect. 
I was worried that it was going to be for some super secret thing. Uh, this guy's going to turn. No, he's cruising. Okay, I'm going. I'm going straight for him. Come on. Come on. Faster. Sounds sick. Ooh. Is he the only one down here? Oh shit. Death is a pretty severe sickness. I thought I cured him. I think I need to be up top. Oh shit, there's there are more of them. Okay, so he's cruising around that way. See if I can't get behind him. Come on! Got him. That little cut in the back of the knee would be so painful for the two seconds that you lived afterwards. Wait, do I want to be doing something over there? It looks like maybe I do. Because this is going to get us access to that area, but... What is this all about? Upgrade. Oh! Laser cutter has been upgraded with a new battery. In addition to extending the cutting time, you can also change the firing mode, allowing you to shoot enemies from a distance. Left control to change firing mode. So which one's which? That's okay. I see him. Shit. <laughs> These guards in this facility, I don't know, man. I don't think they're cutting it, to be fair. Wait, is there still something else here? Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Or is it just these charging stations? Yeah, maybe the coal pile. I can go check. It might be worth it. I'll do it when this machine's not digging inside of it.
Oh, I think I see it. Maybe the machine doesn't even matter. Yeah, I don't think the machine even does anything. Okay. I hope you guys don't mind that I that I look for a lot of that stuff. Um, it's a bit disappointing when it's like a piece of gold or whatever, but I am really intrigued about the uh, Enigma codes specifically. So, and the health upgrades potential that we run into. And the laser thing, I think, so this one, that's the shooting one. The full circle is uh, the cutting one. Motherfucker. That just happened. Oh, I actually like that too. Does that block him? Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. That might not last very long. Oh, shit. We got people right over here. Come on, you're so long, B. Supposed B2 gotta be in here somewhere. Oh shit. <laughs> Delta, have a good sleep. <laughs> hey Colix. I'm doing good. I uh, you missed a couple of things. We're in a prison now where uh, that we're trying to infiltrate. We cleared out where we left off in the previous stream. We cleared that out. Everyone's safe. We developed a romantic relationship with Anya. And um, Anya tells me she knows a way inside this prison. There's people locked inside that I need to see. Um, not sure who the people are, to be fair, but... Headshots are pretty strong, it turns out. It is definitely not weird to dip your crust in pizza, by the way. Listen to this. There, B2. Time to let the monsters out of the cage. Photography and verbotum. <laughs> Sleep. Oh, wow. This is going to be insane. Vive la resistance. We're letting him out. Hey, Luckless, thanks for the host, by the way. I don't know if you're here, but thanks. Here we go. <laughs> there I was, getting ready for the eternal nap, and this Nazi killing jammy bastard shows up out of nowhere. What have you been up to, Blaskowitz? Oh! Shooting, stabbing, strangling Nazis. Ready to set things straight, Fergus. It's oh. Fergus. Oh, crazy. Kill okay. I'm not so that gets in out of the way. Eh, careful with that door. 
Whoa. That's cool that it's Fergus. Really quickly, the reason that that's cool is that's Fergus is because he was the one that we chose to live between him and Wyatt. And what's interesting is, uh, and I only realized this after the fact, when I was editing the uh, the first uh, video into multiple chunks, I saw the scene where we throw that grenade and the dog uh, grabs it and blows up. And then there's our friend who's like reaching down to pull us up. We, ain't in we basically business. saved his life. We into killing Nazi business. Cousin, Cousin this is a boom. booming. Uh, and that guy who lifted us out of the dog place and, like, saved us, basically, um, that was Wyatt. So when we had that that scene between Fergus and Wyatt, Fergus we kind of, like, started the game with, uh, Wyatt was, like, the guy that saved us. And I didn't recognize, I didn't pick up on the fact that that was Wyatt that saved us at that point. So when you had to make the decision between two, it was pretty straightforward for me because... Uh, because uh, Fergus was the one that we were, like, the closest to. So, but it was kind of interesting after the fact. I was like, oh, maybe that would have changed things if I put together that that was uh, Wyatt that saved us. Because it happened, like, right away and he saved our life and it's only fair that we save his. So, I don't know. Anyways. Um, yeah. Depending on your choice on who died, you get Fergus for the rest of the game. Wyatt would be here if you chose Fergus to die. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I imagine, right? Like, why it would be here. That, right? I think that's what you're saying. Uh, thank you, Mr. Skunkish. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you guys so much for the, uh, subs. Okay, let's get back in here. How am I gonna ambush the guards? Fergus and the others are barricading the door. Guards are piling up outside. I'll sneak through the vent and attack them from behind. Oh, it's up here! Here we go. Yeah, Fox, that's a good point. I was pretty stubborn and they both died. Come on! Ayumi, yeah, it'll go up. It always does. Sleep, officer, sleep. Got him. Look at all the gear. Get that silencer on there. Just in case. I'm gonna knife right through him. No! What the frick? <laughs> the shotgun, not as powerful as I thought, actually. And I was so ready to go back into the stealth shotgun pose. Frick, man. Those guys just dusted us. Dusted. It's okay, that really didn't happen. Side for sore eyes. I like this like punishing though, like one wrong move and you're toast. Holy shit. Got him. Problem solved. You okay, buddy? I don't think we're sneaking out of here. You and me, Blaskowitz. We are getting the fuck out of here now. <laughs> Let's go, Fergie. 
Da muerte. Looks like a two-man lock. We have to hit these two buttons at the same time. On my mark, hit that button there. Ready? Three, two, one, back. Got it. <laughs> this is gonna be wild. Shite. Oh yeah, I guess we could have maybe done that to help. There you go. We're definitely going shotgun. Oh! Frick, man! Okay. That's the first time we've seen those shoot, and apparently it's like one shot and you are toasted. Toasted. It's okay. Did I try to ditch Fergus? Uh, no, Vinny. Okay, that's probably the wiser play. What the fuck? I can barely see these guys. Holy shit. I think so. I don't even know who's shooting at. How is who's he shooting at? We need health and we need health bad. Holy shit, that sounds big. Holy hell. Flip the switch. Where's the switch? Ground floor is charged with electricity. Flip it to turn the power off. All right. Hey, Blasco! There's a live power cable in the water puzzle down below. Hot job. Flip the switch over there. Where'd the dog go? Oh, he fried. This is going to be a dog fight. <laughs> no one's ever escaped this hellhole. What for bits and pieces? Hot the hoods. Cover me while I open this gate. Oh shit. Whoa! I thought he meant behind him. Go on ahead, Blaskowitz. I'll follow you. Holy shit! Got him. Have to get this jack to the next gate. Not covered, Blasco. In. Oh 
Okay, I got you, buddy. I got you. This is uh, heating. This is heating up. This is heating up. It's heating up. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, okay, seems good. Fuck. I want what he had. Oh. Are you telling me? Are you telling me that I can dual wield these puppies? That's happening. <laughs> what? Oh shit. Ah, oh, the asshole. <sighs> Fuck, same guy. Those guys are tough. Those guys are tough. Okay. We, we used to, we were like superhuman for the longest time. With great power comes great responsibility, you're right. And we just wasted it. Jesus. Hello. Useless Nazi Insane. Holy shit, man. This guy's so strong. That's wild. They should drop like a shitload of armor, those guys. Now I gotta take this dude down. That worked well. Shit. Where's the big boy? Is he down? Oh, he's down. What have I been doing? Okay, so he's like, he's, we're, we're through here. Looks like. 
I think we're good. I think we're good. This seems like a good time to dual wield some shotguns. <laughs> wow. Are you gonna help? Or are you gonna, okay, cool. You just hang out there. Something back here. There we go. Head up the staircase, Boskowitz. Let me lead, buddy. Got him. We got him. Oh, that son of a bitch. You want you're gonna wanna back up, dude. I'm telling you right now. Okay, well, I think we got him. Oh fuck. You really can't like you really can't. Like, they're much stronger now. I feel like this is where things have amped up. Because at first, I was like, we're doing pretty well. And now, we're taking, like, a couple of shots. We go down super quickly. That's what she said. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play... I'm going to be a bit more cautious here. In how we approach these, because... It's pretty insane. There we go. Oh shit. I'll take it. Okay, so I think we need to go. Oh, hello. Aim for the knees? <laughs> I'm trying to. You think I'm that accurate? Oh, motherfuck this guy again. Well, Blasco, we're almost out of here, so don't be dying or anything. Get ready. I think we're hitting him, actually. I wonder if this wraps us around. Oh, it might. Are you kidding? Got him. 
It totally did wrap us around. That's cool. <sighs> okay. You ready to get out of here, Fergie? Let's go single here. Nope, we're not done! I'll get us a car. See, that was a knee shot, and it worked great. Like, how good is this? Come on, Blazkowicz! I've got it started! Oh, am I driving? It's on. Drive! Drive! Drive up the stairs! Fuck it! Drive right through the window! <laughs> <laughs> okay. That went well. Crafty. Loyal. Tenacious. <laughs> They're definitely gonna see this. I guess we're going back in. This is not good. Let's move, let's move. Shut it, eh? Well, we're getting through here. I I can get us out. Never mind. I can't believe you made it out of there. Guys, it was a little there were some moments there where I thought we weren't going to make Daniel, it, but we actually did. Your car. <laughs> All I had to do was hold W for the driving. Oh no. Oh no. They're stormtroopers! We found you nowhere to go! Hold this. Hey, you're welcome, Dutchie. Hey, you're welcome, Dutchie. Hey, you're welcome, Dutchie. Hey, you're welcome, Dutchie. Daytime entry to the Krasar Resistance headquarters is no easy feat. Not that anyone's ever tried one before. The skies are empty for now. Lucky for us. Oh, oh the, the music's so the good. Fresh air in that damn prison. Right, you be on the light now. There's oh, they're tracking. First Look at this. Blind spot precisely dead on. You in possession. Now, go, go, go! Oh, cool. As long as we stay in this here mist, no one will see us. Right, this is the second part. We're jumping. Don't hesitate, just do it. As soon as you hit the water, you're gonna hold your breath and swim after me. Whatever you do, stay under the water. You break the surface, we're all dead. There are Nazis fucking everywhere. Now don't think about it. Just jump! I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna jump. Hey, what's up, Nighthawk? I'm glad you made it. Oh, shit. Oh, cool. Okay, that's cool. Instantly killed if you come up for air. That's good. <laughs> I know, I did the same thing. I was like, fuck. I know. I immediately went up because I didn't see the objective down here and then, well, big problem. Why are they waving me over? I'm already here. What's up, Sid Lud?
get her locked up in that prison for the last three months. You're not supposed to be a grave in front of that. <laughs> This is our new home? Okay. Hold me, I'm freezing. Colix, that's uh Mr. Max. It's like our wire cutting metal cutting gun. This is close. He's on our side. Used to be a Nazi, but not anymore. How they got a whole like operation here. Of Berlin. You're hiding in the plain sight. It's the last place they would look at. Will they not hear us? Best to keep your voice down, then, yeah. Fuck me. You join my command, you take on death. I should have known only you would Each and every man under my command owes me 100 Nazi scalps. And I want my scalps. If you call shitting in a Who's Caroline? Three pulverized vertebrae. You? Head trauma, four inches of cast iron. Is she, uh... Still in there. Severed colon, septic shock, shattered pelvis. Memory loss, flashbacks, 14 years in a loony bin. Good to see you, William. So, what can you do? <laughs> what are you doing here? Please, is she from like? Okay, okay she's from an older you Wolfenstein. Been, Thanks, Pagrin. You've been gone for three months. This stupid anomaly. People don't come back from Eisenwald. And you, long since off the books. I've heard stories about you. I was told you died in 1946. With misinformation always. You, I don't even know who you are. We're variable. Well, none of this has been accounted for. You will have to revise my whole model. Thank you very much. I am hearing interesting things out of London. I have a folder marked Project Whisper, but someone has borrowed it. Klaus, I believe it was. Can you find it and bring it to me, Butchu, please, Captain? Now that you are here, I think we can do great things. Why don't you sit with me, Miss Anya? Okay. Listening on these frequencies. So she's from out of London, Wolfenstein 2009, as I guess. As you can. Here is pen and paper. Can I do a typewriter? You know how to type. <laughs> yes. My parents thought I should learn. Ah, for you to take dictation, prescriptions and such. Oh, not really. It was useful during my time at the University of London for my doctorate in archaeology. Then the blitz came, and I had to go back home. I was only 16. Well, doctor, please assist me in figuring out what these damn Nazis are up to. That's cool. Hey, Bandit Derrid, I still love you, dude. Don't you worry. And uh, thank you very much, Trojan BP. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you, dude. I honestly thank you guys so much. You can find, find Project Klaus Whisper on the second floor. He should have the folder for Project Whisper. Okay, I will do that, and then I'll come back. Last light in England. The stalwart resistance of the brave people of London have been quelled. Claimed sources inside London. After the August uprising, which had seemed like a turning point for the resistance fighters, the German tyrants unleashed their latest machine on oppression, a monstrous thing called the London Monitor. Eyewitness. Uh, reports describe the fight as a massacre with the cobblestone streets drenched in the blood of the brave resistance fighters crushed or gunned down by the giant machine. German elite combat units then proceeded to move from block to block, systematically taking out the last remnants of freedom fighters. Okay. Triumph in the east. It was a devastating defeat for the Red Army when the German flag was raised on the western side of the River Volga this morning. In a statement... To our reporter on site, Field Marshal Friedrich Ritter said that the victory is not only thanks to our hardworking and dedicated troops, but also the result of a new weapon that was deployed for the first time in battle, the Panzerhund. It's a mechanical and automatic, autonomous beast of war that cannot feel fear and cannot feel remorse. Purest form of killing machine and will tear the Russians apart. Jeez. That's cool. I guess. 
Royal Air Force down, but not out. The Royal Air Force suffered a major defeat yesterday at the Battle of Liverpool, though major losses were reported on both sides. The RAF were forced to retreat after losing more than two-thirds of their fighters. But even when faced with overwhelming odds, our brave boys in the skies continued to fight for king and country. This fighting spirit may be what constitutes the very essence of Englishness. Us Englishmen, we fight until the very end, said a corner shop owner trying to put out a fire raging inside St. Luke's Church. And I'll be damned if I will let some Jerry come in here and tell us what to do. This was... Was this man channeling the spirit of RAF pilot Jameson? Jameson was shot down above Liverpool yesterday, burst out of his burning wreckage, his body on fire, and armed with only a pistol, and killed four German paratroopers before finally succumbing himself. Even as the enemy stands at our doorstep, the RAF will go to hell and back to kick them out of England. Jolly good boys. Victory in Asia. Early Monday morning, a special assault from... Assault team launched an attack on the last stronghold of the People's Liberation Army. Within hours, the Republic of China surrendered unconditionally. Experts commended that, or commented that the Japanese government now have a choice, now have no choice but to give up their territorial claims in Asia. Sources close to Field Marshal claim that a plan is being drawn up for both China and Japan, which would transition the two countries into servant states with separate governments and military. These states will, of course, be supremely governed by the superior German Empire. Only a couple more. Prisoners escape Eisenwald. Er, so, uh... Early morning, a small group of prisoners escaped from the Eisenwald prisoners, or prison. The prisoners were described by the police as highly dangerous murderers, rapists, and de degenerates. They advised the public to stay alert for people displaying deviant behavior, report anything that may help track them down. So is this today's date? Or yesterday's date? 13th, 1960? As if blessed by the sun, the German flag hung this morning over Buckingham Palace to mark the end of a tyrannical monarchy, which has plagued the English people for centuries. Field Marshal Gerald Feigenbaum, who led the British invasion, cautioned that army resistance is to be expected, but the majority of the British people will soon realize they have been fooled by the British government's warmongering leaders. Uh, following the surrender, the whole of the Commonwealth now falls under German rule, and the remaining armies have been ordered to stand down. <laughs> Moscow in flames. The Red Army were forced to retreat last night from a Moscow engulfed by flames following a week-long German bomb raid. The barrage of mortar fire heard throughout the night and well into Thursday morning seems to have obliterated what was left of the inner parts of the city. As of yet, there's been no word on the whereabouts of either Joseph Stalin or his high command. All right. Lord, all right? I don't know you, and I'm not looking to make friends. Okay. Thanks, Bobby Bram. Appreciate that. I heard you were looking for the Project Whisper folder. I am. It's not here. I know. <laughs> it's upstairs. Jesus, what do you got going on in here? I need that folder, Captain. See uh, if you can find it. It's called Project Whisper. Talk to Klaus. Well, why don't you just ask Klaus if he has it? Max, exusion. Die ganze Zeit nach dem Hammer. Hast du ihn gesehen? This is like a really cool place, though. Whoa. Whoa, what's with his head? 